You have a clothing line or a product, but you do not know how to market it. It can be incredibly hard to get your clothing line or product in front of the right people. You can spend thousands and thousands of dollars on marketing, or you can just follow this video. I'll show you how to use TikTok or Pinterest to market your clothing line or product for free. I'll also show you how to create a social media marketing strategy that will help you reach your target audience. And if you guys haven't been following me, okay, I've been creating content on how to create a product on your print on demand store. Okay. And this is a whole series of videos that I've been putting together. So I want to show you how to create a store from scratch. Okay. Create the product. Okay. Put the design on your product and then drive traffic to your product. So I will have that down below in the description. So make sure you check it out after watching this video. So first things first, you want to learn how these platforms work. Okay. TikTok and Pinterest are two different things. I recommend you pick one and focus on that one. Okay. TikTok, you're creating video form content. Okay. And I recommend you start with, you know, creating one minute clips of video and knowing who your audience is. That's something that you would have to learn to as well when you're doing all this. So there's a lot to take in at once, but you want to make sure that you're writing all this information down and taking it step by step, learn what your target audience wants and give it to them. Okay. This is very, very powerful because once you learn how to do that, everything else just, just gets simple. Okay. You just have to put a system in place and just start getting the content out to them. Okay. So with TikTok, you can start off with posting, you know, one video a day or just three videos a week or whatever it is for you because it, it, each is on right here. This is a personal preference type of thing right here. Some people are saying you post three videos a day, four videos a day, five videos a day. Okay. It all depends what you want to do here. The thing is you want to learn how the TikTok video works, the hook, the interest call to action. Okay. And this is going to help you build a following. So in that format, so when you're creating a video, you want to think about the hook. Okay. What's going to get the viewers attention? The interest, what are the main topics that will get the person, the person to, you got them engaging, got the hook. Now the through, you know, you want to explain in detail the interesting points, interesting facts about the content that you hooked them with and then have them do something. Okay. It can be follow you, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment if they have a question, stuff like that. Now Pinterest is more of like a search engine type of platform. Okay. It's like a, so it's a social media platform and a search engine platform. So a lot of the pins that I've been testing me personally too on there and uploading, you know, that TikTok form content, because you can repurpose that. This is why I'm putting them two together right now, because this is something that I'm testing out personally. So I'm seeing the results from it. This is why I'm creating this video. When you're driving traffic to your own product, you want to think about how are these people using this platform? So one thing that I'm using right now is repurposing that TikTok form video and putting it over on my Pinterest because Pinterest is, you know, that format, that portrait video, that vertical video that you're getting when you're recording yourself, you can get that same video and put it over on Pinterest and Pinterest is starting to, you know, push those type of pieces of content out more. Now, one thing that you'll learn if you're paying attention, you're creating content for your fan page or for your brand or, or whatever it is, you want to see what these platforms want right now. What's the number one piece of form of content? Are they organically pushing the most? And this is why I'm talking about this because it seems like right now that that vertical video is one of the things that they're promoting the most right now. So I want to make that very clear that you understand that now with P Pinterest, you want to think about how people will search on that platform. Like how would they search for that? And you want to make sure you have that in the title of your pin, because this is very, very important and fill out the description, all that stuff. Okay. This will help you drive traffic to your profile on Pinterest, which is it's, it's amazing because some of the pins that I've been posting over there, they're, they're, they're getting impressions. They're getting clicks and all that stuff too. You know, I'm driving traffic to my YouTube and then I, you know, I have my own personal uh, website and stuff like that, but it's driving traffic to whatever you want to drive to. Okay. And this is something that you should be testing out when it comes to this, but I feel like Pinterest and TikTok are the thing to do are, are the things to be doing right now. Pinterest is powerful because it ranks on Google. Okay. It ranks and, and, and a certain pin or a certain video can rank for a very, very long time. And then you kind of take the, the video type of format and you can think about, okay, YouTube, that YouTube video can rank for a very long time too as well. So that's what I'm saying. When Pinterest, if you can create, you know, an image, you can go to canva.com. Okay. Go to canva.com and you can create, you know, that long format type of pin. Okay. That pin image. 
and um, create something that's you know really awesome and eye-catching okay to get the clicks and stuff like that you have to make sure you have you're creating something eye-catching because this is how you will get you know saves and and people looking at the pin and then obviously you know clicking through stuff like that and obviously keywords okay ranking for the search and, and making sure that you put good keywords in that pin okay and for that image you can get a lot of traffic to whatever you're driving to so for example let's say the t-shirt that i've been working on with this whole video um stay out of my niches okay if i would make different types of form of content based around you know a product let's say a product in my audience that would drive traffic to that one product okay and then that's when you would start getting sales and generating money from that. Next thing I wanna talk about is use interesting eye-catching visuals to drive traffic to your products, okay? Now these images on Pinterest, you wanna make sure that you're re making really eye-catching images to get people to stop, click, okay? You wanna win that click, click, and then go over to your product, okay? So when people search for something in the search bar and, and you know they see that your image is there and they click on it, that's the goal okay now with TikTok, the video format okay you want to get with the video you want to hook somebody that's kind of like the same thing so with the video it's a little bit different so the video you want to hook somebody get them to stop get them to watch your video and then get them to go do something whatever you want them to do which give, give, give you a follow give you a heart and this will create engagement on the post and help you rank even higher you know, in the algorithm and TikTok will promote your stuff, promote your pro promote your content more. And then the same thing with Pinterest, the same thing applies with Pinterest, okay? Pinterest is amazing, TikTok is amazing, they're both amazing. So think about ways, research in the niche, research in your niches, research just in general and see what people are creating, okay? And then apply that to yourself, which you would have to learn exactly what your audience wants and then give it to them. Use hashtags on both of these platforms to help people find your content. Okay, now one of the things, you know, if the content's great, the algorithm is gonna push it more. And this may change, okay? Hashtags, I've always used hashtags and throughout my whole post, but then I've seen people where the content is really incredible and they'll test. I've tested this a few times, but I've seen other people where they have created viral videos, okay, but their content is just amazing where the algorithm will do its work and push the content. Okay, if that makes sense. You have to understand what your audience wants. See the hashtags that are trending in your niche or how would someone search to find you know, a certain topic in your niche. Okay, if you know your niche, let's say your hashtag is hashtag baby. Okay, you're selling baby clothes and you're making baby stuff about you know, uh, nurturing the baby niche and, and helping people understand what's going on if you know, a three or six, more, six month old is you know drinking certain types of milk right okay that's just an example that might be a bad example but doing stuff like that okay if you understand the hashtags in the niche and how people are using hashtags in that niche and then you rake a certain piece of content with from that hashtag that can be very very powerful and it can help you help people find your your content more so organically it will rank okay that's just the way hashtags certain hashtags work and then obviously you know the title and how you title your stuff too will help you uh, rank even more okay so if you're trying to rank for a certain long tail keyword in a title and a long tail keyword is you know two two or more keywords together okay and you phrase it a certain way to generate more clicks or more impressions that can help you you know obviously get people to click and not only that it can help with the engagement on the platform so this is something that i've been testing over the years and it's powerful if you know how to word a title or if you know how to use that long tail keyword in that title to help you rank organically but hashtags will help you like reassure and help the algorithm learn what people what niche this belongs to what you know, this piece of form of content belongs to and it helps the algorithm understand now once you start building a community okay it's important that you engage with your audience okay this is going to help you create that one-on-one -on -one with them Okay, and replying back to everyone's comments, this can be a, a, another job in itself. So you have to be ready for this. You can create something that goes viral on the internet, right? And it just drives a ton of traffic to your store, your print on demand store or, or any type of product, okay? It can drive a ton of traffic to that. But you can convert sales by replying back to people in the comments to reassure, you know, 
or or just build a fan build that one fan that one fan can turn into a customer okay you're that one viewer can turn into a customer that one comment can turn into a customer think about it that way okay but you just want to be as straightforward as possible with what they're you know maybe they leave a comment about asking a question okay you want to be precise and answer their question and help them out as much as possible by you doing this this is how you build a community or just build you know a big fan base of people that love either your content what you're selling and all that plays you know uh, it goes hand in hand okay when it comes to this some people you know you'll see big brands where someone will leave a comment and they will never reply back i'm not a big fan of that if you see someone leaving a comment reply back to them okay now remember <laughs> we're only human so we only have so much power to reply back to so many people but until it turns into an actual job itself so you can reply back you next thing you know it you replied back to 10 people then another 100 people comment that's going to take a long time for you to comment right and it's going to every single question you want to give them the amount of energy that you answered the first question so if that first question you, you, you left a really good reply you want to make sure that you have the the 110 the 102 comment right you want to give them the same amount of energy that you gave the first comment so you can see exactly where i'm going with, with that this takes a lot of work so be prepared and be ready for it and another thing too just you know if you're if you can help out with you know other brands in the community and and do certain things or you know an, another band that's in your niche if there's something that you guys can do to collaborate on something do so because most likely you can get some of their audience in a way where they like you they like that person and they like you too as well and then that's how you cover you know that's how you grow your audience right by helping out other individuals and sometimes it just you know some people may find the other person more fit for you than the other person and it's just the way it works right and it's not saying that this person's content is better than this person's content it's just saying that you know this person can relate more with you over here than this person that's okay right and there's nothing wrong with that you'll see people buying from this brand and this brand and they're two totally different opposite brands and there's nothing wrong with that at all okay at the end of the day it's just more on what that human wants to purchase or what's the, what that human wants to follow it's not a bad thing it just that's just the way it is it's human nature now and if you want to grow it to like another level when you have all this stuff down you have everything fine-tuned and you want to reach a bigger audience okay you can run paid ads you can do that if you want to if you decide to do that you can do that but one thing to keep growing organically is you have to move with the trends as you're creating content last year's piece of content may not work this year okay there may be something new Okay, so you have to understand that and readjust to make a simple adjustment and then boom right you're back on track i see a lot of people do this when it comes to creating content they don't understand what is going on in the marketplace or they don't understand what's going on with a new trend or something happening one little tweak can make all the difference as far as creating content and and you know building that relationship with your audience okay so it's important that you understand that and then implement that every single day every single week every single year and the cool thing is is like these platforms are giving us a lot of data and a lot of information so you can see you know what's working and what's not working okay and even if you spy on your competitors you spy on your competitors you can see what's working for them okay and what's not working for you and maybe you just you know there's one little thing that you have to tweak and then you do that then boom next thing you know it you're just you're getting more traction, you're getting more attention, and your content's getting more attention, and then boom, it's a win-win situation at that point, okay? So don't try to be narrow-minded when create a co creating content. The goal is to help people. You help someone, help someone with some something, okay? With maybe some type of struggle that they're having with you know some type of product or some type of information, or they wanna learn something, or whatever it is that you're creating content on. Help them, and then that's one of the ways to Get a following because next thing you know they're share it with their friend or share it with their sister they're share it with their mom they're share it with their grandma they're share it with their cousin their friends all that stuff okay and then you start getting more traction online and watch this video next right here if you want to learn how to set up products on your own website by connecting to a print provider like printify